Identity politics are the bane of my existence. Nobody cares what your sexuality is. Nobody cares what your gender is. Shut the hell up. Nobody cares. Focus on the real issues. Hello, gays, lesbians, bi's, pansexuals, uh, demisexuals, asexuals, uh, f***ing queers. Hello, queers. Hello, f it's. And if you're not LGBT, well, I have some news for you. Yes, you are! Everyone who watches this channel is gay! Congratulations! Get yourself checked for monkeypox. So I'm working on the new Hell World currently, but I've been sitting on this video for like three years now. This is the year. I'm gonna do it. F*** it. So the LGBT community is always at each other's throats. The gays don't like the lesbians, the lesbians don't like the gays, nobody seems to like the trans. But I wanted to talk specifically about the weird sh the B gets. Specifically the sh the B gets from the other letters of the alphabet. So who doesn't want to see some classic gay infighting? But first, let me talk about today's sponsor. Um, it's really cool when sponsors actually want to work with a channel like mine, a channel that gets cancelled often. So without further ado, today's sponsor is... Crown News, the revolutionary new app that lets you see how a news story is being covered all across the political spectrum, from left, right, and center. News outlets and social media platforms are financially incentivized to push sensational content that generates clicks, and social media algorithms are designed to keep you in an echo chamber. Thankfully, Ground News is working to fix that. The Ground News app is a tool with tons of easy-to-use features that help you analyze the news so you can be confident you're getting the whole story. Use the bias distribution chart to see where different media outlets fall on the political spectrum. Fox News is right-wing? No way! But my favorite has to be the blind spotter, which tells you if you are truly in an echo chamber. So let's check it out. Oh. You can even check other people's echo chambers. Let's see. Ben Shapiro. I'm sure it's all just... Oh. Ben Shapiro is in less of an echo chamber than I am. Sad. So click the link down below and try Ground News for free to support a small team of independent media outsiders working to make the mainstream news more transparent. And now, back to the video. So we all know the classics bi people get, right? They're s**ts, they're whores, they're confused, and... Alright, fair enough. But you're gonna see some uniquely unhinged s**t here, so let's, let's dive in. Happy Gay Month to everyone except bisexuals. Well, off to a good start. Bi people are the straight people of the community. Happy Gay Pride. Bisexuals are the white people of the LGBTQ community. Ukraine flag. Because why wouldn't they have that? White bisexual women be like, I love my boyfriend. What's wrong with- What? I feel like white is like the silencer on a gun whenever you want to be like, homophobic, transphobic, as long as you put white in front of the group you want to make fun of, then you won't get cancelled. Bisexuals in hetero relationships have no right to invade LGBTQ spaces. First of all, I don't want to be in your spaces, bitch. Imagine the smell! Bisexuals are not valid, sorry. And this person is apparently non-binary saying this. Might not want to throw stones in that glass house. Maps are valid and bisexuals aren't, whether you like it or not. Cool. I love where society's heading. What the f is this? A few more sexualities and we got a gay confederate flag. It's pride month and that means bisexuals need to sit down and shut up and let real LGBT people celebrate. LGBTQ- What the hell does the B stand for? Bionicle? Bisexuals can't say the D slur. It's a word meant to attack a lack of attraction to men, which is why it's only for lesbians. Even if you've been called it and you're bisexual, you still can't use it. Come kill me. That just made me realize there's no slurs for bi people. You know what, everybody in the audience? Come up with a slur for bi people. You have my permission. <laughs> you have the pass. Semi-bisexual. Bisexuality, but with attraction to only one gender. You know what? Go- yeah. Have fun. Sure. When a woman claims she's bisexual, she's often trying to be cool. When a guy claims it, he's gay. Hashtag bi visibility day. You know what? Uh, that's pretty funny coming from you, Steven Crowder. Uh, I'm afraid of 
I'm afraid, frankly, I used to have a bad temper. I'm afraid of it coming back. I'm afraid of Mr. Hyde rearing his ugly bisexual head. That was a, sm that was a short phase. Um, no, I'm, I'm afraid. I think we need to take the B out of LGBT. Bisexuals have it way better than most of us in the queer community. They have straight privilege and ride on the coattails of the gay community. As Pride season rolls around, let me remind fellow het-partnered bisexual people, Pride really isn't for you. So don't act like you deserve to be there as much as lesbians and gay men. Really, just don't go at all. If you are bisexual and willingly enter into a straight relationship, you are disowned from the queer community. You no longer matter. You are disgusting if you enter into a het relationship when you have the option not to. That is a fact. Nobody loves calling themselves gay more than a bisexual girl with a boyfriend. All right, kind of got my ass. Most bisexual women have only been with one or two women. I have been with about 20 women and 16 men. All these fake bisexuals with one or two partners. I'm the real bisexual. I'm a fucking whore. I'm the town bike. The people like this are what sort of adds to this like stereotype of bi people just like always sleeping around or something because like what the f also, 20 women and 16 men? Come on, pump those numbers up. It's gotta be 50-50 or you're not a real bi. Everyone is bisexual. Everyone. Sexuality exists on the Kinsley scale. Nobody is 100% straight, so I don't want to hear that you wouldn't date a trans person because genital preferences. That is a lie. You are just transphobic. <sighs> Is it 2015? I hate this shit that's like everyone secretly but no. As a matter of fact, there are actually some heterosexual people. I've heard rumors that some may actually be in this very audience. Hot take. You're not bi unless you're into masculine dudes. Wanting to women and twinks is the same as being straight or lesbian if you're a woman. These people just say shit. Dude, these people just get on the internet and say shit. I don't think it's biphobic to critique bisexual people who are invested in the patriarchy and harm others by centering men in their lives. Having a boyfriend, being with a man as a bi person, is investing in the patriarchy and harming others. All right. Crackhead. So bi people are mad because I consider getting into a straight marriage after a gay relationship to be acquis- to be acquis- to be acquiescing. Well, nobody watches me because I'm smart. Most bisexual women I know have never even dated someone or kissed another woman. Why is that? Oh yeah, because it's fake. You just don't want all the baggage that comes with being a full lesbian. If you're a bisexual woman dating a man, you're straight in my book. I don't care, I don't care. If you're a bisexual woman who doesn't see herself marrying a woman, you're straight. Bye. I've only been in three relationships. All were long-term, and all were men. Should I just be like, oh, uh, hi, honey, sorry, we have to break up because, like, these random people on the internet won't think I'm a real bi. Unless you're polyamorous at heart, you usually end up with one person who will be of the two genders. These long-term relationships are usually formed by your gender preference, which everyone has, thus making you either straight or non-straight. Let's say you are a single straight man. You are a single straight white cis man, the most oppressed class in society today, and you're single. Does that mean you're asexual? No, that's not how sexuality works. You're still straight when you're in a relationship. You're still straight when you're single. Bisexual people are still bi when they're in a relationship. Is it time to drop the B from the LGBT? Yes, please. Please do, free me from this hell. Coming out as bi at age 50 doesn't make you part of the queer community. What is this fucking gape keep, gape keeping? Whoa, Freudian slip. I understand the argument against biphobia, but I also understand the argument for lesbians not wanting to date bisexual women. Man residue is a real thing that affects the relationships of all women who deal with men romantically. MAN RESIDUE! Bi women end up in relationships with men because they fall victim to heteronormative culture. There are more straight people than gay or bi people. There are more straight men than there are gay or bi women. So the probability of a bi woman ending up with a straight man is way higher than a bi woman ending up with another woman. This isn't Hard. I'm like half-hearted and I understand that. Sure, love who you love. 
But you can't deny the patriarchal influence that pushes bisexuals into getting in relationships with the opposite sex. Hot take, all women are naturally gay. Society tells us we need to be with men. I love how they just cannot fathom women liking men. They have to like make up all these conspiracy theories. You know, some men are okay, not all men are your father. Bi girls saying they want a girlfriend so bad is literally just fetishizing women loving women relationships. Lesbian relationships aren't a fantasy, stop treating them like it. So if they want a boyfriend, it's heteronormative culture. If they want a girlfriend, it's fetishizing women. Stop worrying about other people's relationships and worry about them f***ing eyebrows. Lesbians know that even having a bisexual woman in the room changes the vibe. Throwing off the vibes with our man residue. Call me biphobic or whatever, but I would never date a bisexual, they're just gonna cheat. Bisexuals cannot be trusted by their romantic partner. Every other sexual orientation has a gender of which they are not attracted to. This means their partner can trust them alone with that gender. There is a guarantee that there will be no cheating going on. With bisexuals, no such guarantee exists. They are attracted to both men and women. Straight men can be trusted with men. Gay men can be trusted with women. Straight women can be trusted with women. Lesbian women can be trusted with men. Bisexuals cannot be trusted with anyone. Think twice before dating a bisexual for the sake of your own anxiety and peace of mind. First of all, straight men can be trusted with men. Absolutely not. I have seen what the homies get up to. You literally just have trust issues. Go to therapy. If you're a man in a relationship with a straight woman, are you constantly worried that she's gonna leave you for like every man she sees. But why is it different when it's a bi person? Because there's like more of a chance, it's like 50-50. I, I just, I don't know. Bisexual attraction to one sex. Pansexual is attraction to more than one gender. No, pansexual is when you are attracted to pans. You like that? You like that, you sick fucks? Bisexuality infers. <laughs> Bisexuality infers a gender binary that doesn't exist. It's an outdated term and frankly should be removed from the L G removed from the L B G T Q A I A plus acronym. Holy it's like a cat walking across a keyboard. Bisexuality often doesn't include trans people and non-binary people. There's only queer, there is only love. <laughs> I don't trust bisexual people. Something about them seems panphobic. <sighs> Oh my god. There's like no difference between pan and bi. Just pick a flag that you like. I dislike bisexuals. Like, choose, LMAO. It's not that hard. When people say they're bi, it bothers me. Like, you should probably pick one and stop being gross. Bisexuality, the refusal to pick a side. That is being said by Boy George. So when we eventually do pick a side, AKA get into a relationship like any other normal person or get married or whatever, then they're mad at us. Then we're, then we're, oh, we're just straight. Oh, you're just gay. You can't win! It's like the only way to be real bisexual in the eyes of all these people is if you're like polyamorous and dating a man and a woman at the same time or you're just like constantly jumping dick a dick vagina 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 Like can bi people not be in just like normal monogamous relationships? What? When she says she's bi, when he says he's bi I wish guys could just be honest and say they're gay, but we gotta do the bisexual in-between step first. You identifying as queer when you're just gay slash bi is creepy and homophobic. You identifying as queer when you're just gay. What the f*** is queer? Have I not been paid? Has it changed? Bi men are gay. Bi women are cool as f Ain't no such thing as a bisexual male. My gentlemen, you like d you gay! I love how it's like, bisexual women are either like, straight and just doing it for attention, or they're lesbians but the hetero patriarchy is brainwashing them to be with men, and with bi men it's like, they're just gay. God, who gives a fuck? Who gives a shit? Why can't we all just get along? Why can't the LGBT community all just get along? We're all going to hell anyway. So that was my little video. I hope you liked it. If you didn't, Understandable, have a nice day. I am currently working on Hellworld. Sorry, it's taking a little long. I thought that the one shooting would be the biggest story of the episode, but then another shooting happened. <laughs> Just America things. I'm sorry I kind of fell off 
plus L plus ratio. I haven't really been that active on YouTube and that is completely my fault and maybe one day I'll talk about it but nobody really cares right now. I just want to say thank you so 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 much for the people who support me and for the people who donate to my Patreon. Um, if you would like to donate and help the channel out, uh, the link is down below. I actually just made a private Twitter account that's for Patreon people only, so if you want to follow me there, donate to my Patreon and then you get access to it and stuff, so I'm gonna be getting on the content horse again soon and my little Patreon community, we're gonna do movie nights and game nights and stuff like that and I'm gonna start streaming soon, I'm moving to a new city. Big things are happening and I want you all to be there, I want to build this community and have a little community again. But yes, new Hell World soon.